Now, there has been so much speculation about Spurs signing Inter Milan centre-back Alessandro Bastoni. His agent has spoken out about a possible move to Tottenham. Reports have stated that Spurs have turned down the chance to sign former Juventus player Paolo Dybala as he wants around £280,000 a week and also going through all of the internationals concerning Tottenham Hotspur players. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. In today's episode, I'll be going through all of the latest Tottenham news, all of the rumours and all of the reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button. Also hit that like button and that notification bell where YouTube will notify you every single time I upload a new video. If you're listening to this on an audio platform, do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. Now, first up, let's talk about Inter Milan centre-back Alessandro Bastoni. Now, in the last week or two, there has been lots of speculation linking him with a move to Spurs. And many reports have stated Antonio Conte wants Bastoni at Spurs as soon as possible. He is next on the list after, of course, the first signing, Ivan Perisic. Well, Bastoni's agent has come out and said he is certainly a big fan of the team he plays for. So he will happily remain at Inter Milan. Bastoni's agent then went on to say, however, he is also a professional. This is football and he has to adjust. It's clear he is very happy to play for Inter Milan and feels this jersey like a tattoo on his skin. A report has just been published by the Daily Mail and they are stating that Tottenham turned down chance to sign Paolo Dybala after the Argentinian international 28 demanded £280,000 a week to join them on a free transfer after his contract expires at Juventus this month. It states that Tottenham will turn down the chance to sign at Paolo Dybala due to his massive wage demands. The Argentinian international who leaves Juventus this summer after seven years at the club had the likes of Spurs, Arsenal and Manchester United on alert by hinting that he was keen on a move to the Premier League. But despite his availability on a free transfer, Spurs Chiefs have balked at the cost of a potential deal with the 28-year-old asking for around £280,000 per week. Dybala scored 82 goals in 210 league games for Juventus, but the Italian side declined to extend his stay in Turin when he asked for a net salary of €8 million Euros and a €2 million Euro bonus, the equivalent of around £373,000 a week. It then states that Inter Milan have made an offer to Dybala, which is believed to be £6 million a year, including bonuses, and around £260,000 a week before tax, but he is holding out for more money. Also in this report, it states that Spurs rejected a £17 million bid from Ajax for Steven Bergwijn this week, with the Dutch side also courting the winger in the January transfer window. Now, a little bit more on the Paolo Dybala situation. Now, transfer expert and Italian journalist Fabrizio Romano on the 18th of May, which was only a couple of weeks ago, uh, he stated then that Tottenham have not opened talks to sign at Dybala as of today. There are no negotiations ongoing. The situation for Dybala's future is still open and he's available on a free transfer. Uh, then in a tweet this morning, Fabrizio Romano then said, nothing has changed on Tottenham's side. They are not in talks to sign Paolo Dybala as of today. And he has never been considered a serious target. Spurs want different players. Now for an international roundup concerning Tottenham Hotspur players on Thursday and Friday. Hunmin Son has just been awarded an Order of Sport Merit uh, in South Korea uh, just before his South Korea friendly against Brazil in Seoul on Thursday. Uh, the medal recognises outstanding achievement in sport and comes after Hunmin Son became the first Asian player to win the Premier League's Golden Boot last season. He shared that honour with Mo Salah after scoring twice in our 5-0 win at Norwich on the final day as we secured fourth place in Champions League football. Hunmin Son's 23 league goals represented the best tally of his career to date. The South Korea skipper um, played the full 90 minutes that evening and also moved to 99 caps. Brazil won that game 5-1 thanks to goals from Neymar, who got two, Richarlison, Coutinho and Gabriel Jesus. 
Also on Thursday, Dijan Kulishevsky picked up his 22nd cap for his country, Sweden, in the UEFA Nations League. He picked up for Sweden where he left off for Spurs with a superb goal to secure a 2-0 win against Slovenia. Last seen scoring twice in our final day 5-0 win at Norwich City. This time, uh, Dijan Kulishevsky collected a defensive clearance on the halfway line, drove into the box from the right, cut left, then cut back onto his right before blasting into the top corner from the angle. Also on Thursday, Tottenham Hotspur defender Maxim Paskotsky won his 12th cap. He came off the bench in the second half as Estonia beat San Marino 2-0. Now for Friday's internationals concerning Tottenham Hotspur players. Now Stephen Bergwijn continued his fine goal-scoring form for the Netherlands on Friday night as he found the target for the fifth time in four games on the international stage. Having scored and assisted against Norway in November before bagging a brace against Denmark and a goal against Germany in March, Stephen Bergwijn has now added another goal to his international collection with a strike in his country's comprehensive 4-1 win over Belgium as they kicked off their UEFA Nations League campaign in style. Our number 23, who played the full 90 minutes, opened the scoring in Brussels, firing in from range on 40 minutes before former Manchester United forward Depay grabbed a second-half brace while Inter Milan winger Dumfries also found the target in the Belgium capital. Elsewhere in the Nations League, Pierre Mihoibier's Denmark came from behind to win against Hugo Lloris' world champions France in Paris. The Danes, who had trailed to uh, Benzema's 51st minute opener, levelled the scores 17 minutes later as Pierre Mihoibier produced a delightful cross to pick out substitute Cornelius, who guided the ball home from close range. The striker then went on to grab his second goal of the evening with just two minutes remaining to complete a remarkable comeback for uh, Denmark, Hugo Lloris and Pierre Mihoibier both played the full 90 minutes at the Stade de France. And finally, Brian Hill enjoyed a goal-scoring night of his own as he bagged a brace for Spain's under-21s in their 6-0 thrashing against Northern Ireland. Brian Hill has now scored four goals in his last three appearances for Spain's under-21 side and has been involved in nine goals. Uh, four scored, five assisted in his 10 caps to date. Now, best of luck to Troy Parrott, who will be uh, in action for Republic of Ireland away today against Armenia. And, uh, of course, England captain Harry Kane will be involved with the England squad uh, as we will be playing our UEFA Nations League game away at Hungary. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button. Also hit that like button and that notification bell where YouTube will notify you every single time I upload a new video. If you're listening to this on an audio platform, do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. And I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe and well. Come on, you Spurs.